Time now for Final Exam, where we find out for certain which of two Fox News professionals has been paying more attention at work and who's been playing video games. Our defending champion this week, Carly Shimkus, a reporter for Fox News Headlines 24-7. She's being challenged by Fox correspondent Peter Ducey, a veteran of that. See with mixed uh -oh. results, but we're glad to have both of you back. Yes. If I lose, don't tell my bosses that I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, and playing well, video well, games. They may find out. Okay, you know the rules, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Hands on buzzers. <clears throat> I ask the questions, the first one to buzz in gets to answer. You have to finish, you have to wait until I finish asking the question in order to buzz in. Each correct answer is worth a point. A wrong answer subtracts a point from your total. Best of five wins, are you ready? Ready. ready. Okay, great. Question one, a world leader stripped down to his trunks to take a refreshing and religious ice bath. Which leader was it? Peter Ducey. It was President Putin. Vladimir Putin? Yes. How dare you use those words? Let's see if you're right. Roll tape. Vladimir Putin has taken his shirt off again. Why did you do this, Mr. Vlad? President Putin made his way to the lake in a fur coat and fur boots. And then he stripped down to his bathing trunks. Peter Ducey, clearly a Russian agent. You knew it was Vladimir Putin. Did you know that too? You probably did. I did, and I know that Abby Huntsman's father, Ambassador Huntsman, yes. Ambassador to Russia, also did that as well. Um, so half point situation. <laughs> no. Again, I'm always. Unfortunately, you know, I'd love point. to, but the judges are saying no. We're going to stick to the rules. Darn it! Despite, despite our desire. He's got some reflexes desire. on him. I know him. he does. He's fast. Oh, I've been hey. practicing. Former arm wrestling champ. Question two. The Nintendo thing, once again. Okay. A cable news host, we know that world well, just released a folk rock ballad he says was inspired by the Women's March. Which cable news host was it? Oh. Peter Ducey. It was Morning Joe Scarborough. Are you sure? I've never seen the show. I not my not my pick. I thought morning. I think it's Brian Kilmeade for the record, but whatever. We're gonna find out on the tape. It's like when your boss comes in wearing an ugly shirt. You don't want to be the one telling him it sucks. A better example, when you're one of your most pompous talents, Joe Scarborough, thinks he's a pop star. You may get the chance to stand against a column of tanks. What this uh, president is doing is just so wrong. Holding up your hand. <laughs> he's like <laughs> 10 times worse than Nickelback. Oh, I didn't know they made the the song like a thing on the show. Yeah. Okay. You know that Al Sharpton also cut an album years ago with James Brown. Little known fact. Okay. I have it. Yeah, it's not bad. Ah. You got that right. Peter Ducey. Thank you. All it right. was not kill me. Question three. Gotta dig myself out. Research in, researchers in China just announced a terrifying scientific breakthrough, not surprisingly. They say they've successfully cloned which animal? Carly. A monkey. A monkey. I actually don't know the answer, so we're going to roll tape and find out if it's a monkey. And game of clones. A major breakthrough as Chinese scientists clone monkeys for the first time ever, inching one step closer to human cloning. As a big Curious George fan, I'm very disappointed. Uh, <laughs> and can we point out, those are two of the cutest monkeys yeah, they are. we've ever seen. No, that's not going to end well. The Chinese clone monkeys, <laughs> 30 years from now, this will be seen as a turning point. Maybe. Well, yeah. yeah. In the history of the species. Question four. Prior to, la prior to last Sunday's big football game, police in Philadelphia used which food product on telephone poles to keep Wild Eagles fans from climbing them? Carly. Chris, go. That's disgusting. I don't believe you. Oh, let's go to the tape. There you go. The cops in Philly actually greased the poles with Crisco to try to keep people from climbing them after the game. That is a real thing that happened. It didn't really work. It's for safety. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Crisco cops, as they call them. <laughs> Crisco cops. That's really that you know, and then it rains, and then there's just Crisco all over the sidewalk it's in Philly. It's delicious and effective. Yeah, you know, not low cal though. That's right. Okay, so we're in a weird place, so we really find ourselves here. We're in sudden death. So oh. each of you has two points. Cage match? No. Could be. Okay. Sorry. This is the last question. Are you both ready? Yes. Okay. The winner will emerge from this round. A dozen or so camels were disqualified from a major camel beauty pageant in Saudi Arabia, not a minor camel beauty pageant, a major one, after judges discovered the animals had been injected with what? Peter Ducey. HGH? 
HGH, the human growth hormone. Human growth. I guess that doesn't guessing? make as much sense. Human growth oh, hormone. Oh, yeah. Camels oh, with a human. Uh, whatever. It's that would be a very serious advantage for a camel. <laughs> no, I think the point is they don't want them to look like people. They want them to look even more camel like. You know but a lot what about do I know? This. We're going to roll the tape and see is it HGH? The country has camel beauty pageants. But there is, we're sad to tell you, scandal in the world of camel beauty. A dozen animals have been disqualified from a major contest after judges found they had received Botox injections. Oh, Botox. Apparently, Botox can deceptively make a camel's head look bigger and its lips droopier. Didn't you just say that you didn't know anything about this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was only to see who watches our show. Peter Ducey, brave effort, but Carly Shimkus oh remains oh, you lose in a her point? throne. Yeah. Yes. yes. Uh. So now, look at that. Two to one. Game over. Carly, you win I get another a mug? The coveted mouth breathing mug. This one means even more than And of course, first. the adulations of our many fans. So, congratulations, oh, Peter Ducey. You. That was a valiant attempt. Thank you. I'm going to just not tell anybody that I did the quiz tonight so that they don't watch it. We, we can we, share we the mug. Thank you. We'll we'll back and forth. Defeat. Okay, pay attention to the news each and every week, especially the weird parts, so you can tune in every Thursday to compete against our contestants. There's much more in this show. Stay tuned.